Hello guys, welcome back to the Tro Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Valorant Windows cannot access the specified device path or file in Valorant and how we can fix this out. So uh, let's move to the workaround. So you just have to follow the instruction. So I just uh, found this on the Reddit. So I'm going to just share it over here. But I'm, I'm not having the game, but you can just follow the same instruction which I'm going to give you right now. So over here, the first one, you just have to go to your Valorant game or the Valorant icon. So imagine this is Valorant. So just right click, go to show more options and go to properties. Now from here, so uh, it is not the same. You have to go to the game. This is a shortcut is not working fine. So I'll check for this also, go to properties. Okay. So I'll do one thing. Let me select this one. Or you can see that most probably you will be having uh, this one, right? That is the original file will be there for game. These all the things which is dead space. These are uh, just, you know, shortcut. So what I have to do is I'm going to show you an example with uh, what you have to do is just go to the game. So I'll be showing you. Uh, let me select the game first. You don't have to follow this one. Okay, so I'll go to Steam. Now let me go to Steam apps because I'm going to show an example with uh, Steam because I don't have the Valorant. So, okay. So I'll go over here on Undisputed. Fine. So uh, what I'm going to do is you just have to, you will be getting an icon of Valorant over here in the game. Okay. So first uh, select that. When you get the uh, click over here, you have to select the Valorant. Now, once after that, you just have to select the icon from the desktop. Right click and go to show more options and go to properties. Go to compatibility. Now from here, you have to check the first one that is run this program as an administrator. You have to check the next one that is disable full screen optimization and go for OK. So don't get confused when I show with undisputed properties, which is a game because I don't have Valorant. So that's what I'm saying. So uh, the logic is you have to select the game, right click, go to show more options, go to properties, select run this program as an administrator as well as disable full screen optimization and go for OK, then try to play the game. And this is what we have to do as the first step. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. Then I just have to go to the start, go to task manager over here. Now from here, what do you have to do is you just have to delete it. That is, you have to delete three things. That is MSI Afterburner, Riva Turner, Citrix VPN. So you have to check whether those things are running in the background process of yours. So if it is there, just end the task. And if you don't know how to end the task, just select the respective one, then go for end the task. And this is what you have, you have to do. And moving to the next one is all about, we have to do is uh, two things. The first one, you have to go over here on the search and go for run. Now click on this. Now from here, you have to give a command that is percentage program uh, data. So here it's already done. So I just have to select or type percentage program data and press enter. So that will take uh, take me to this. Over here, I have to scroll down and I have to search for two folders. That is Valorant as well as Riot. So I have to go for both. So like I said in the beginning of video, I don't have the game. So I'm not able to see Valorant or Riot. So if you see Valorant, delete the folder as well as if you see the Riot, delete the folder. If you see any one of things, that means either Valorant or Riot, just delete it. Once you're done with deleting with that, just close everything and go back to the search once again. Type run over here. Now from here, you have to give percentage local app data. So just uh, select this one, go for OK. Now from here itself also, if you find a Riot, you have to delete it. So here the Riot is there, as you can see. Let me select this one, go for delete it. And also, if you find Valorant over here anywhere, so Valorant is also there. So I have to select it and go for delete it. So I have to delete both. Once you're done with this, just restart your PC and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed. And this is what you have to do. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.